Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a, another healthy family grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what we're eating and what we bought this week, then keep watching. So welcome back to my channel and another grocery haul. I hope you're all doing okay. I'm all right. I'm up and down on the roller coaster that is a pandemic and homeschooling. Daisy is doing some work behind me. Um, so if you hear a bit of chat, I'm, I'm sure you won't mind anyway, um, but we're just trying to sort of work it out in a way that we can get this done. Um, so I went to Tesco this morning. I went to Aldi last time and I did it at night, which I didn't really like because they were putting loads of stock out and it was actually still quite busy. Plus like I was knackered. <laughs> by the time I got home because I've been homeschooling all day and didn't really like that so we worked out today so that I could go and Mark kept an eye on the kids and um, that was okay because Bill's actually with his dad and homeschooling uh, he did yesterday and he's doing today and he's coming back when he's finished today which is quite nice um, it just means we can balance things a bit more you didn't ask for my life story but as we all know by now I'm quite a chatterbox so that's that so as per the CMA guidelines I'm required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past however this has all been bought with our own money um, it's so weird like going into shops at the moment it's like it still feels so like intense i don't know why i managed to get most of what i needed there were a couple of bits that i couldn't find while i was there but it was quite nice to have a mutual the same um so i'm going to turn you around show you everything that i bought and walk you all through it and then i will go through the meal plan at the end of this video um and then for anyone watching that might be new um just to like trigger warning I guess I'm actively trying to get a bit healthier at the moment I gain weight over lockdown have arthritis my joints are killing me and I don't feel very good I don't feel very like healthy I feel a bit grim so um, that's what I'm doing so I will be talking about like lower calorie foods in this video and then also meals at the end so if that is not for you feel free to cook away and much love but without any further ado I'm gonna get crack a lack in so this is everything that i bought i've tried to lay it all out for you and um make it nice and pretty excuse my coffee there because i've just tanked that because i hadn't had one <laughs> before i went to the shops so we have um two baby cucumbers and a normal cucumber the kids really like these they're less like wet moist ew um than a normal cucumber but then sometimes i quite like a normal cucumber for like chopping up and dipping into hummus and things like that uh, so i got both uh, baby plum tomatoes tomatoes on the vine i have a mint plant here and then more herbs because they just jazz everything up and at the same time they are technically a vegetable so it's a great way of adding flavor without like loads of you know cows or whatever so i've got my beloved coriander i normally get this every shop throw it into everything from meals to salads because i'm just obsessed with the stuff um flat leaf parsley and basil and then i also got a butterhead salad here did i say peppers i got some peppers i got two packs of ow <laughs> i just stuck my toe on a stool i got two packs of bananas i've got some carrots sweet potatoes a lime we still have a few um not a lime this is a lemon but we still have limes left in uh two packs of blueberries little gem lettuce broccoli asparagus sugar snaps pink lady apples because i'm obsessed with these at the moment uh satsumas pomegranate seeds and then a pineapple another obsession of mine at the moment and bill really likes these as well then we've got some grapes and two packs of strawberries um the only thing with like lockdown at the moment is that we do go through like fruit in particular and veg quite quickly and um sometimes we are having to go out like halfway through the week so we can still eat healthily which is annoying but if i buy too much it goes off so it's just the balance for now but honestly a pack of strawberries with three kids like that's one like dessert or one snack gone um where were we sweet corn red kidney beans in the chili sauce and then i've also got some black beans and then we have some red onion chutney i love this stuff and um it's a really nice way to add something a little bit like different to meals because if you look at the calories for a tablespoon it's only 21 calories which is actually quite decent and it's nice and sweet and tasty anyway big pack of consigli pasta i think i've said that right and then some bulgur wheat i was thinking about this last night before bed so i made sure that i picked it up today 
that says a lot about how sad my life is right now but i really like this stuff it cooks in a very similar way to couscous probably takes a bit longer um it's just really tasty and really like it uh chicken we have some of that we've got one of these I feel like at the moment, especially the way things are going and how like knackering it can be homeschooling, I'm sure a lot of you will understand what I mean. Having quick and easy things in for when the day doesn't go right and you just want to bung something in the oven and sit down on the sofa with a brew or like, I don't know, a glass of wine if you go in there. Like these are so handy and I'm picking them up all the time. So I've got another tortelloni. Um, this one keeps in the fridge and doesn't go off until the end of February. And that's quite nice because if we don't use it straight away, it's just there waiting for when we need it. And then a pepperoni pizza because you know that club card thing? I spotted these and it was like, I swear it was about half price and so £2.50 it was like one twenty-five something like that. Um, so I was pleased to pick that up. Got two of the mozzarella cheese mixes. These are so handy. Like if you want to make a really quick and easy cheese and toast because you push for time, grab a handful of this. That is my doorbell. So that was my mum <laughs> chopping off a meat and potato pie, which is very relevant. So I thought I would show you how cute is that. It's absolutely adorable. I'm just gonna pop this over there. I think it's her love language, a bit like mine. We cook for people that we love, so there we go. Right, hi Mel, hi Daisy. <laughs> Back to this, so yeah, these, um, great for throwing on some bread and ginger cheese on toast, great for adding to puff pastry to make pinwheels, which is why I bought some puff pastry. Just find it really handy. Obviously, I have a cheese grater, but sometimes it's just, it works. I also prefer the grated mozzarella for things like this, because normal mozzarella, although way tastier, can be quite wet, I find anyway. So yeah, I've got two of those. They're like two for three pounds. Um... Should we start with these? I got these. These are on offer everywhere, it would seem at the moment. Um, they must be like pushing them because they're relatively low in calories. So the mushroom one is only 85 for half a pack. Um, and I found this really tasty. I added some extra seasoning and some light Philadelphia to it um, on top, like a blob. And then this one's a bit more, but like full of good stuff. So lentil and smoked bacon, 181 calories per half a pack. I could totally make my own soup, but to be honest, the way things are at the moment, like I don't always have time, nor can I actually be asked in all honesty. So the way it is, um, meat wise, I got two packs of these. So one uh, wafer thin roast beef. I thought this would be really nice in a bagel with some like, lettuce or something and then some mustard and then um pastrami i thought i would do like my own new yorker style bagel with these for like lunches and stuff got a pack of fridge rages raiders sorry because these were like 90p on offer I spotted them i thought i would bring those home there's a pack of three in there so like i have three kids so if they want to have like a snack they can do if they don't fancy them i will eat them because they are only 43 calories pack we have some halloumi and then some jalapeno and red pepper hummus which just spoke to me when i spotted it so i think that'd be really nice um really tasty i love spicy stuff and i feel like it like excites the palate a bit more i don't know why i'm chatting such weird stuff today you'll have to excuse me um 50 less fat soft cheese we have heck sausages algae also do their own version of these which are really nice but obviously went to tesco this time around because there were a few bits that i couldn't get from algae so um yeah pick these up i think i'm gonna do a pasta with these uh, that everyone will enjoy and they are super tasty got some yo valley do you remember the um your valley your <laughs> you're really bad welsh accent but do you remember the advert and they had like sexy farmers anyway not percent uh fat for a dish that i'm doing at the weekend they've got some just roll pan and chocolate for the kids i get this every sunday because um it's like the thing that we do on sunday morning and then puff pastry and then some phyllo pastry and then at the back here we've got eggs two packs of these bagel thins i'm obsessed with these at the moment they're so good. I'm going to stick one pack in the freezer and keep the other pack out um, because then I won't have to go to the shops, but I've always kind of got bagels on tap then. Uh, crumpets, these were about a pound, I think, for nine, and the kids are really enjoying these at the moment as well. And then I've got some Danish white bread, um, and then I've got a big pack of these Quaker Oatsy Simples because 
they are really handy they were on offer as well for 20 sachets so it'll last me and mark quite a while because we're having these um for breakfast most mornings so we obviously go through them quite quickly and they're just quite convenient so that's all of that and now i will take you to the back so here are frozen things like items like that and then i've got like snacks and stuff i'll run through these in a sec we'll start over here got some corn nuggets I will often pick these up if I'm near a freezer aisle because we really enjoy them and they do taste like the McDonald's uh, chicken nuggets as well and um, they're quite a nice one. If you do want to have like a quick meal like a baked potato, some salad and some corn nuggets then they are, they're just yummy. Uh, I got these for the kids. I don't like, because I shop online most of the time, I don't really like browse enough but these are crispy potato pops and they're little like potato balls and i don't know why i just thought they would find these quite fun you know like if they did have corn nugget, nuggets and these and some salad or beans or whatever then yeah i picked those up and they were quite cheap as well if i remember right i got some sliced leeks because i thought they would be quick and easy and it's for a dish that i'm doing at the weekend and then again i spotted these and they are is it mo mochi i don't know how to say it so if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, but these are Japanese, I think, ice cream balls. And they are basically gelato in the middle and then a little like rice coating type thing. But they're flavoured. These were on offer. They're normally ridiculously expensive. I think they were about fiver normally. But I got them for £2.50 each. So I picked up both flavours that I could see. And these are 81 calories each, but I just feel like they'd be such a nice little treat. And I think the kids would love them as well. And then this is the passion fruit and mango. So that's these ones. And then these are creamy coconut. Don't know if I said so. They're 81 and 69 calories each. And anything that I can find at the moment, this is why I wanted to go to Tesco, like to pick up specific things that I could have as like snacks. Because in my first week of trying to lose weight, I tried to go really hard with like no snacks at all if I could help it and like really just fruit and veg and really minimal things. But I think the key to success, especially when you're calorie counting, which gives you a lot more freedom I find, have things that you enjoy. If you want it, have it, just plan better do you know what i mean so i'm really excited about trying them then over here these are other snacks that i picked up for me um and mark and obviously the kids as well they want to try them these are proper chips so they're 93 calories per serve which i think is about 20 or 30 grams something like that it will say in the back of the pack these are salt and vinegar i've got the plain ones in like half a bag left anyway um and they are just they're really nice and i really like lentil chips i've had other ones in the past like the curl ones that you can get really enjoy them so i picked those up these i shared in my what i eat in a day video one of the more recent ones and um it's 100 calories per pot it's the coconut collaborative it's plant-based so um made with like coconut milk rather than like dairy i believe and then um it is just they're amazing they're so rich and so like luxurious and that little pot they are tiny but that is all you need with some fruit at night you will not you will not be sad about the fact that you're not eating like i don't know chocolate cake or something then we have some fiber one protein bars these are caramel flavor they're new i've never tried them before i spotted them so i thought i'd pick them up uh, 10 grams of protein one gram of sugar i'm not into my macros or anything like that i'm just trying to get some weight off my joints in all honesty so i mean if you're a macro person there we go you'll know more about that than i will um and then some carrot cake marks excuse this i nearly dropped them before and put my thumb through it so <laughs> i ruined that uh, but i had the chocolate ones in as well and i really liked them so i thought i'd try a carrot cake one and then i got the snickers crisp because i was having a proper look you know when you actually do go into store you can have a proper nosy can't you but these are no only 90 seven calories per bar and that's a lot less than your traditional snickers but i still get that kind of snickers vibe so they're quite big bars i don't know if you can you know they're not small and i feel like that would be really nice to have at the weekend you know when i want a chocolate here um i obviously won't eat all of these this week that goes without saying but it's nice to have them in and i find that variety is very much the spice of life when you're trying to lose weight um we'll talk about this in a second these are not for me um these are for the kids i still have loads of snacks left over from aldi so i didn't get any more from tesco this week but i did pick up some slurpees because 
it was requested of me so we have the tropical and the apple and banana and then these these are i don't know why i aggressively smacked them um <laughs> these are from mark um he again he's got like really sweet teeth he loves to have these at the weekend and um yeah this is what was requested of me i won't be having them i don't think or if i do i'll be like measuring them out but he wanted rebels chocolate orange and yorkie chunks which um yeah so those are those um i always get mad when i see yorkie because that advert really peed me off do you remember when it was like i can't remember what it was but the whole vibe was like it was just for men or something anyway um that is for him and then finally dodging <laughs> the dishes in my sink are uh, just some like random bits and bars so i got some toilet roll um just this tesco own brand one a uh, luxury soft one uh thankfully we don't seem to be struggling for things like that like we were in the first um lockdown uh which is a relief to be honest um this is how dedicated i am to trying to lose weight because a recipe that I'm doing calls for some white wine and normally I would just buy a bottle of white wine and be like, oh, I'll add a splash of that and drink the rest. But no, friends, no. I bought a mini one and that is what it's going in, my recipe. Spotted this because it was on offer and I thought the kids would really like it. It's the raspberry and rhubarb ribena and that sounds incredible. It's not sugar-free, so I'm guessing... It's 45 calories per 250 ml diluted. So it would definitely be like a treat one, but I thought they would really enjoy that. Um, and then standard ones that we normally pick up, orange, lemon and pineapple, and cherries and berries. And then I spotted this. I have worked with Crusher in the past, but obviously I just picked this up today. It's a limited edition one though, and it's cookies and cream. So I think it must taste like Oreo. Um, and these are just like the kids love them but also they're going through a phase at the moment when they really want milkshakes so i was really glad to see that because i think they'll all like that one then we have apple juice and orange juice two big ones um like for breakfast they really enjoy that um i mentioned in another video water it down if you want to if you're more conscious about the sugar content and things like that and then finally just some random things i picked up some vanilla and honey tea lights i wanted plain ones oops um but i couldn't find any plain ones so i just picked up these and they were just over a quid uh, they have loads of candles though at tesco it's quite nice to have a nosy um then we have some redox shower gel water lily and lavender because i thought that sounded quite nice then some toothbrushes just a pack of three and then finally some cowpaw because we were running low so that is everything i'm going to put it away and then i'll run through the meal plan the meal plan you will hear grizzly and milami in the background and probably tea children because <laughs> i put everything away which always takes a while and then um, i realized it was close to lunchtime so i've made them lunch i'm really sorry about the background noise i might try and turn it down a little bit one sec really top tip if you have kids who are a bit difficult sometimes by eating fruit and veg just say if they're Moana fans, it makes them big and strong like Maui, and that way it's hard to Anyway, so, um, this is the meal plan for the week ahead, and we're just gonna crack on and get into it. So, um, I've already got a few planned for Friday, which was mentioned in my last video, so we're gonna go for Saturday. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna make homemade nandos, but using that TikTok wrap technique. I had some nandos, like, sourcing anyway, and I used the Weight Watchers wraps, I bought those chip things that I showed you, you know, the pre-cut ones. We have an ancient air fryer. It's probably about five years old, so I'm going to cook them in that and do it with some matcha peas, and it'll all be, like, well with the normal calorie count and stuff, but it'll be epic. I'm well excited for that. Sunday, we're going to do chicken, leek, and tarragon pie uh, using phyllo pastry, and I'm going to save it with a carrot and sweet mash. I found this recipe it was on bbc good food and it's the ultimate makeover chicken pie and i think the idea is is that they're like making over dishes 
and making them just a bit healthier for you really so we're probably gonna follow that and I'll probably pimp it up a little bit like I always do Monday I'm gonna make a heck chicken sausage pasta with a nice big salad so I'll probably just make that like you know like when you just bung stuff in and you make it on autopilot kind of thing but everybody loves like those sausages everyone loves pasta everyone loves veggies so that'll be fine then on Tuesday I'm gonna make this recipe that I saw on the Tesco good food website it was no the, not the Tesco good food the Tesco food website and um because i like looking on them and i like looking on bbc and uh it was a jammy red onion and chickpea pilaf we already have rice in we already have chickpeas in it uses like loads of herbs and stuff and spices and i might um fry an egg and pop that on top something like that i'm not really sure yet but i'm quite excited to have that do you need me to open it good boy there we go and then um thursday i'm gonna make a veggie chili this is another tesco one it's a jamie oliver recipe on their website and it's like a smoky veggie chili um again i'll probably just i kind of look to the ingredients and i'll just make it however i usually just chuck things in and we'll serve that with rice and i might even serve it with like some homemade um tortilla chips or, or something like that uh, just to make it a little bit more exciting and make some guacamole and maybe a salsa to go with it um because i think the kids will enjoy that as well and then friday if i'm sure i've got this right my birthday is monday the 25th of january and um it's going to be awful obviously <laughs> well, not awful it's not going to be what most of us would hope for a birthday but i'm sure we've all had lockdown birthdays by now with most of us i'm like the last one um from when it all started so all of us now have had like a birthday throughout this time and uh yeah i want to have fun over my weekend like my birthday weekend because i think i'll enjoy it more over the weekend and just be like oh it's my birthday on monday um so i'm leaving friday open potentially we might have like a takeaway on friday night or we might do it on saturday or do something like that but i didn't want to plan too far ahead for next weekend because i don't really know what mark's got in store either because he said like he's gonna like do nice things and surprise me and whatever so i don't know if that'll be the weekend or on my actual birthday so um i've just left that open for now and um then another thing um breakfast and lunches i thought i would run through those with you so i'm gonna have my usual porridge of fruit and my sweet freedom syrup that i shared in my last way in the day um dippy eggs is a favorite right now i'm really enjoying that like it's so good and so filling as well uh breakfast bagel i'm gonna have that with like either like sausages on or bacon dallings eggs like mushrooms got spinach in the freezer as well um, and you can do a breakfast wrap like that as well and then there's like scrambled eggs on toast blah, 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 blah. there's loads of different things you can have omelettes lunches the new yorker bagel that i mentioned so the bagel thin pastrami cheese mustard and pickle soups with a bagel thin snacky plates of hummus veggies i've got like crisp bread type things the thin sweet chili ones from my vita they're really nice pickled onions very much camera ran out of memory so i had to delete something really quickly but the last one was um rice paper wrap so i have some of those left i'm gonna fill those with like shredded carrot cucumber herbs chili um you can put mushrooms in like meat like leftover chicken that kind of thing and use like hoisin sauce to make a dip or uh, you can do like a sweet chili sauce or a peanut butter sauce i'm just gonna get creative and try and keep things exciting um so that is everything um i hope you're all doing okay and hanging on in there and when i'm filming this it's a friday so i'm feeling very positive because the weekend always lifts my spirits a lot um but yeah thank you so much for watching i will hopefully see you next time and take care of yourselves and stay safe Bye.